yeah, sure. Look, it's very unexpected in my mind, at least. Um, I didn't think this was this. We we're going to end up with this conclusion, the way this was being positioned, etc. For the last while, it seemed inevitable. You know, despite consistent and constant um, views from the rest of the public that we didn't want this. Uh, as much as we loved the festival, we had enough of it with four days, and we had enough of it with 28 cases. Um, you know, the commercial case for increasing the five was clear, and it seemed like a commercial consideration might be now, but they haven't. And uh, I think there seems to have been a, already an uh, outpouring of, of joy and relief on, uh, on racing social media as well. So um, I'm certainly in that camp. Well, I, I have to admit, I was completely in agreement. I was just expecting the inevitable. I would have had a you know, a short price so if I was a bookmaker tipping it up that it was going to be a real certainty that we were going to be going for the five days. But this is how you got involved. Justice, sweet, sweet justice. <laughs> and then a picture, of course, of uh, Rachel Blackmore there with the, the four days. Now, of course, Kevin, there would have been people that wanted the five days. What about putting them straight and telling them why it was a bad idea? <laughs> Was there was there people? <laughs> I'm not sure there was. Nicky uh, Henderson, we, we, would you believe? Well, it? yeah, yeah I, I think that there was some self-interest among the trainers. Uh, uh, I, I don't know if the logic that if there's more races, we have a better chance of a winner necessarily applies. Um, I think if you look at the additional races that have been added to Cheltenham Festival in recent years and, and look at who's been winning them since they've been added, um, it's not it's not a long list of names, um, and it's mostly Willie really Mullins, but. Uh, Look, we all love it, Haley, and it might seem odd and perverse that something we love, we surely want more of it. But look, the thing is, the, the supporters of this would have said, all we need for a fifth day is two extra races, make it five sixes. But the thing is, Haley, not only do we not need two more races, we probably need six or seven or eight races less if this is to be a real national Hunt championship and there's too many races, it's too diluted as it is. So that was what made this thought of two extra races, an extra day, so unpopular amongst the core racing audience. So look, we've avoided that for the time being. It's a victory of public opinion, I dare say. And look, we're, we're all delighted. Well, I say certainly a strong proportion of the audience is, is delighted with this news, but it shouldn't um, muddy the waters as they stand at the minute because National Hunt Racing probably isn't in a great spot, Haley. But there's huge, uh, long standing issues there that, that I have wrote about extensively and at the races for, for years and years with regard to the program book, you know, the polarization of, of big trainers, big owners. And we there's lots of issues there. And while this was the right decision for the game, you know, I think there are tougher decisions to be made going forward. And the quality jumps review is seemingly ongoing. We haven't heard from them for quite some time. Um, there are tough decisions to be made. Hopefully, this is an indication that the greater good of national hunt racing is going to be a little bit more to the forefront of our thoughts when big decisions are made. Um, the quality of the race, in my view, I suspect the view of many, has slipped an awful lot in national hunt racing the last 15 years or so, and there needs to be choices make uh, to reverse something. And just finally, Kevin, do you think that potentially they're just kicking the can down the road, that there could be a fifth day, but at the moment they've just decided we'll stick to the four? What do you think? You have to say it's a possibility. You know, look at the current climate, cost of living crisis, attendances uh, are going down and away. You know, maybe that was a, a big element of this decision in more recent times, you know, if they were to increase the five, now would probably be bad timing, 2024. You'd certainly want things to improve economically, etc. Um, so look, hopefully it doesn't happen. You know, I don't think it's in National Hunt Racing's best interest at all. You know, we the, our whole National Hunt season fills the Cheltenham. We all love it, right? But there's so much focus on that it has to deliver. Aid. It has to be sensational. It is our main shop window. It has to really work as best as it possibly can. And for me right now, you know, we, the, the percentage of odds on favourites is going, on, going up all the time. You know, six, seven odds on favourites at the last few Cheltenham's. You know, that's not the engaging product that the, that the Cheltenham Festival should be. 
So I think rather than looking at increasing, we should be decreasing and, and making it as compelling and as competitive as possible. Because for our sport, we need this meeting to be as incredible as it possibly can.